so we finally got to take a look at some gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadow from Ubisoft's forward event. We got to take a look at Yasuke the Samurai and Nawe the Assassin and how they differ from each other in terms of gameplay. Yasuke gonna be the brute type gung-ho character and Nawe gonna be the nimble stealthy character. Seems like Ubisoft is catering to both fans of the RPG and traditional Assassin's Creed style with these characters. Here we're getting a look at Yasuke on a horseback. Proceeding to a village called Fukuchiyama. He's slowly taking everything in with the environment here. I like the colors and how vibrant it looks. I just love the aesthetic setting of Japan. It's just so soothing to the eyes. Especially them sakura trees. I like the way the NPCs acknowledge him as he's walking by him. The crowd density is quite impressive for what we're seeing here. It's packed full of people. Giving the village more life. Very nice, I like that. Yasuke goes to talk to this lady. Then we get an assassination quest here. We're looking for Fujioka. So here the camera pans to the assassination target, Fujioka. On the bottom left of the screen, it shows Yasuke is gonna be able to switch between two weapons with the directional pad on the top being able to heal. And I'm not too sure about the bottom action. I'm guessing it's gonna be an eagle vision sort of thing. On the top of the health bar, we have an ability gauge for using abilities, similar to Odyssey and Valhalla. On the right, we got Yasuke's abilities. The combat looks like it took inspiration from Ghost of Tsushima, with the way the incoming attacks look from enemies. Here we can see him parrying incoming attacks. Yasuke breaks this guy's armor, then he deals massive damage with his Kanobo, then he brutally ends this guy. Oof, another brutal blow from your boy. Damn, cuz. Rest in peace to that brada. Yasuke uses one of his abilities here. He leaps forward and it smacks him. Got the nice black and white effect to go along with the activation of the move. Shee, Yasuke showing no mercy out here, bruh. Yo, wait, hold up. There's gonna be a samurai hip hop beat coming right up in the set. Not while I have hey, hey, hey. Head. Yo. Yo, we up in Japan, y'all best get out of my way, ho Taking over your land, I'ma shape how I wanna look, like, play dough Who the best in the game, don't gotta say a word or a thing, bro I don't know, I couldn't help it, I just found it funny that we're hearing a hip hop beat in this time period Here we get a showdown with Fujioka, finally He throws in one of his men, he ain't even wearing any armor What are you doing, bro? Yasuke couldn't care less about this guy He just pulls out his katana and ends Rada just like that Rest in peace Fujioka joins the battle. He's getting his ass whooped though. Yasuke deals the final blow and decapitates Fujioka. I'm guessing for every assassination target, it's gonna have this black and white effect. I think it's a nice touch, but I wonder if there's gonna be a setting where you can turn it off if you wanted. Nawe turns up and makes an assassination entrance. Very nice. At this point of the story, it looks like we're gonna be able to pick who we wanna play as for this specific quest. I thought we were gonna take a full look on how big the map is, but... I read that it might be around the same size, if not maybe a bit larger than the Assassin's Creed Origin map. We'll have to wait and see, not too sure about that one. So we finally get to take a look at Nawe's gameplay showcase, which I was very curious about. I wanted to see what changes they made to the stealth mechanics. So here we see her using a rope dart to attach to a tree to get across a gap leading to an assassination. That was very nice. Here we see her going into the grass. For the first time ever, we're gonna be able to prone in an AC game, which is dope. Here we see a mechanic where we can use the environment lighting to affect enemies' visibility. Same kind of gameplay mechanic we would see in the Splinter Cell games. I like that, I like that. We assassinate this guy, then we see her being able to assassinate from range, which is cool. She's utilizing her weapon. I think it's called a Joketsu to assassinate from a distance. And we see some parkour action, it looks like she's able to chain with the rope dart going on up. And this was interesting, this lady looks innocent but I'm guessing if you don't deal with them, they're gonna alarm everybody nearby that there's an intruder so Nawe takes her out, not lethal of course. Here we can see her turning off a light source using the shadows to her advantage, I like that, I like that. Then we see her being able to assassinate through the sliding door, quick and efficiently, very nice. This is exactly how I want to play an Assassin's Creed game, so going to be playing more of Nawe, but I'm going to try Yasuke if I ever feel like just going all swords blazing out here, you know. Here we got the camera panning to Lord Hayashi, then we see Nawe creeping up here, looks like you're going to be able to prone underwater, and she got a tool she can use to breathe underwater, that's pretty cool. And Nawe takes out Hayashi, GG's brother. 
Then we get to take a look at her combat. Here we see her pulling out the Kyoketsu. She uses one of her abilities to do a spin move affecting not only the enemies but also the environment around her. We get to see the bamboo getting cut up as well which was pretty cool to see. She's not going to be able to take much hits like Yasuke would during combat so best thing for her would be to disengage. I was hoping to see more of the parkour. We didn't really get to see much of it in this gameplay showcase but that's about it. I'm looking forward to playing this game but but I'm cautiously optimistic about it. The only thing I'm worried about is how the story is going to be executed. Other than that, the gameplay looks good. They could improve on some of the animations here and there. It is still a work in progress. So we'll see how it turns out upon release. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Peace. You being allies there.